Three years ago, I made a video about the best sound and roar on motorcycle engines. Some viewers, had said that I forgot to include the V4 engine in that video. And the truth is, no I did not. Actually, I am also a fan of the V4 sound. But unfortunately, it is very rare to find this kind of engine, in the customed motorcycle scene. And that is why I had to exclude the V4 engine, from that video. But today, things are about to change. As you may have already noticed from the title, I found not one, but two amazing projects with that remarkable engine. Two different approaches, that probably are going to resurrect this motorcycle, from obscurity. Welcome, to Racer TV. This is the work of Luca Slayum, owner of Lucky Custom, in Argentina. It is based on a Honda VF Sabre 750, from the 80s. It has a unique liquid-cooled V4 engine, with an amazing 86 horsepower. Theoretically, it has all the ingredients for a great cafe racer. But, like I said, it is only in theory. Because in what concerns to the aesthetic, things are much more complex. As you see, this build seems to be pretty simple. But there is a lot of work behind it, to achieve this final result. No, I am not referring to the beautiful model on the photographs. You can check the changes, just by watching the transition from the standard version. Unfortunately, there is not much information about this build, but it seems that the fuel tank is still the original, with some changes in the rear, and in the fuel cap. I must say, that the colors are too flashy for my usual taste. But the way Lucas selected the layout of these colors, is really clever. Notice how this matte black surface, creates the illusion that the rear is smaller and separated from the fuel tank. Not only an unexpected choice, but surely with a subtle purpose, that works as it should. But now it is time to see today's second project. As you may have noticed, I don't judge a cafe racer, only by the complexity and beauty of the project. I am always looking, for a smart and simple approach. And this is definitely one of those projects. Very interesting machine. Isn't it? The most curious, is that it couldn't be simpler. Yak, is the man who built it. Owner of K-Speed Customs, in Thailand. I know that the presence of this machine, is not as spectacular as the previous project. But what is really spectacular, is knowing that almost everything on this build, is still from the standard Honda Sabre. The fuel tank, brakes, wheels, their rear shock, the front forks, almost everything, is still in the original state. Essentially, the builder took out the voluptuous and heavy rear body, and created a new subframe. And this is where we find the brilliant solution, that transform this VF750. A sleek, thin, and short seat, that makes everything look much lighter and beautiful. And covering the entire fuel tank with leather, is also a very nice touch. That makes everything seem like one single piece. The fuel tank is still the original but it was slightly rotated, in order to obtain a better and horizontal stance. Before you start asking questions, about the bad words on these tires, my answer is, no. They look like the classic Firestone Deluxe Champion tires, but they aren't. 
they are replicas, which are made in Taiwan. But it seems that they are relatively popular, in some Asian countries. I really like this project. It is an excellent example, of how the vision and creativity of one man, can transform a motorcycle so radically, with only some simple changes. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you next week.